I got brides in Atlanta, she's the lead in the family, credit cards in the scammers, getting the licks in the band. Fuck is up. You already know what the fuck time it is. It's another motherfucking episode of the nasty motherfucking sports update. Today, our episode is sponsored yet unsponsored by Powerade. Because that lightning bolt over at Gatorade did me dirty one time. And I don't fuck with them niggas no more. But let's get into a few topics. It's been a busy time since the last time I seen you. You know, went on a hiatus for a little bit just because of the new year. I was sick last week. Man, you know, and, and, and that comes with the territory. But I got a lot of shit to give you today. Starting off with my New England Patriots being eliminated in the wild card round by the Tennessee Titans. One of my saddest days yet, a humbling day to realize that maybe my team and the greatest team that's ever been assembled, the greatest organization that's ever been assembled may have reached its peak in the Tom Brady era. And that's okay. That's okay. It took me a little bit of time to deal with it, but you know, it happens. It is what it is. We we had a great one run, you know, six Super Bowls. You know, we've been to the Super Bowl nine times in the Tom Brady era. Lost three, one, six. Hey, man, we better than all you bitch ass niggas. So whatever you fucking got to say, suck my motherfucking dick, you bitch ass nigga. So it's cool. Um, I show allegiance to the AFC in this aspect because I want Lamar Jackson to win. I hope he wins. And outside of that, if it's not him, I hope a black quarterback wins. So, you know, Seattle got the dub over the the C uh, excuse me. Seattle got the dub over the Eagles. Um my man Kirk Cousins, Spartan Dog. Got that motherfucking dub over the Saints. Always fuck the Saints. I never liked them, and I don't like them. Fuck the Cowboys. I'm so happy they didn't make the motherfucking playoffs. I don't know how Skip and Shannon still talk about the Cowboys so much. Their whole show is two and a half hours, and they talk about the Cowboys every single day like they are fucking relevant when they're not. Mike McCarthy is a fucking bum. He's a bum. Skip Bayless is a fucking bum. And maybe not in money-wise, but the way he analyzes sports, he's not good. He can only do one thing. He can only do one thing. And you know what that is, you bum-ass nigga. Fucking, uh, uh, let's see, who else? Who else, uh, got the dub this past weekend? Um, Deshaun Watson with a great comeback. Shout out to him, you know. I mean, it was great football play this week. Derrick Henry is showing that he may be the best Alabama running back to come out. You know, I I still give a slight nod to Mark Ingram just because the longevity that he's had in the NFL. And even though he's been a part of a, a, a two-head running back tandem for a lot of the time when he was in New Orleans and still kind of now – um, in Baltimore, still, I still give him a slight edge, Heisman Trophy winner, but Derrick Henry, my man, that nigga is playing football, football, um, uh, yeah, so, you know, NFL this week coming up, it's gonna be some great games, great games, I know the Chiefs is waiting, 49ers is waiting, I want to see what Jimmy G does in a in a in a big time. You know, motherfucking Russell is a staunch vet, Super Bowl winner. I, I went to another Super Bowl MVP candidate this year. Even though I mean, of course, Lamar Jackson ran away with it. It's 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 going to be some great games this weekend. I can't I can't lie. I don't. My Patriots weren't ready they weren't they didn't have a team julian edelman as you can see just showed that he had a, a, a dislocated ac joint or something like that 
rib injury, knee injury, didn't have what it take to get it done. You know, it, we, we, we had no weapons. We would have had A.B., Josh Gordon, different story. Sonny Michelle played, had a down year from last year. It is what it is, man. But going forward, I'm, I'm happy to see football. I know a lot of you guys are happy to see uh, uh, d different teams in the Super Bowl. I know that's been a huge thing, but I'm with you. I'm with you. Just, just off the strength of, hey, man, somebody got to win. Somebody got to fucking win, and I hope it's a black quarterback. Uh, moving on, uh, local news, Michigan State basketball beat the shit out of Michigan basketball. Fuck Jawan Howard. Fuck Michigan. Fuck the maize and blue. Y'all niggas can eat a dick today. Hate y'all niggas. I hate y'all niggas. So every time I see that y'all get this quote unquote big pick or, or, or uh, good coach, man, fuck Jawan Howard. He cool nigga outside of this shit, but when it comes to the robbery, fuck that nigga, man. Shit. Fuck Michigan. Whatever, nigga. Uh, we move over to the NBA. AD, nasty fall uh, a couple nights ago. Man, just wish him the best. Lakers been on a crazy run. LeBron looking like he's the standout for MVP or at least in the top three of MVP voting. Giannis still been going crazy. The Rockets been going crazy with James Harden. Um, AD looking like even though after, you know, last night or two nights ago, excuse me, um, had that fall, but he's looking like the front runner for defensive MVP. I believe Dwight Howard should be the number one candidate for a mo uh, for a comeback player of the year. I don't remember if the NBA has a comeback player of the year, but if they do, he should be the number one candidate because he's been playing crazy. He got his contract guaranteed. You know, it's it's been great for the for the Los Angeles Lakers. The Bucks, number one seed in the East. Giannis is literally just stepped right in front of LeBron, right into LeBron's place and said, this is my motherfucking conference now. I don't know about none of you other niggas, but this my shit. My shit. Luka Doncic fucking sits out for, he had, what, two weeks? Comes back, 30-point triple-double. Act like he never left the court, man. Act like he never left the court, bro. That shit is crazy. And you got to get that nigga his props. There's been a lot of comparisons to early LeBron, but that league was way different when LeBron was in here. So it's not really the same. So I can't give him this, a fair comparison. But I will say, no matter what, dog been going crazy. Son been balling. And can't take away from it. Can't take away from it. I got to give a lot of, lot of, lot of props to the offensive coordinator for the Kansas City Chiefs, uh, black black ass assistant and coach, offensive coordinator. Um, been passed up on a couple of jobs just because he's still coaching right now. I've been seeing a lot of niggas getting picked up, like Joe Judge, you know, only minority coach that's been picked up is Ron Rivera. And in the beginning of this season, he was a head coach for the Carolina Panthers. Um, I think that it's a lot of black coaches that need to be getting more consideration for what they put into this and how great they are as coaches. And stop letting this Rooney rule shit, Rooney rule shit affect how they view us because they only give us the opportunity to come in and interview and then they say all right we check the box fuck you niggas and we'll go pick somebody else that shit ain't fair you know what i'm saying but it is what it is and eventually you know we're gonna have billionaires like Bron, steph curry jay-z that's gonna come in and we're gonna start owning these teams owning the and, and being owners and my and majority owners to 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 make sure that we don't get disenfranchised anymore. It's good to talk to y'all again, man. This is the motherfucking greatest sports commentary in under motherfucking 10 minutes. You already know what the fuck time it is. The Nasty Sports Update. I'll see you again.